In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads on a Ford Focus 3 or electric car. On my car, the pads started to wear down and there was a squeaking noise when braking. Now it's time to replace them. After that we carefully remove the pad retaining spring. And we very carefully take off the plastic caps that gently insulate the caliper guides from the top and bottom. Using an allen wrench we carefully and slowly unscrew the caliper guides. They look like this. Looks like there's a bit of dirty grease on them, but it's gone now. The second one is the same as the previous one. In the next step, we'll carefully prepare a secure and stable stand for the caliper so that it doesn't hang on safely on its hose without any risk. And after that, we take off the caliper don't forget to disengage the parking brake, which is an essential safety feature, carefully. It might feel a bit stiff, possibly due to rust or lack of use, but with a little effort it can be managed. Upon inspection, we notice that one brake pad is still in good condition, showing minimal wear, while the other one, although slightly worn, can still be used safely for a while longer. Now we proceed to meticulously clean these seating areas using an old toothbrush, which helps to reach into the small crevices, and some gasoline to effectively remove any grease or dirt buildup. You can use a vacuum cleaner. Here, we are carefully using a clamp to gently compress the brake caliper area because the new pads won't fit in this position safely and securely, ensuring everything is aligned. I'm going to carefully put a metal spacer or an old pad underneath. When working on the brake system, it is crucial to take care to avoid causing any damage to the caliper, especially during the process of compressing it. It moves easily, which means it's working fine. After that, we'll carefully take Manol 98 to 96 copper paste and apply lubrication to the contact points of the pads with this bracket. I'm going to use used pads, but they're still in good condition. They're still excellent, in fact, because they're original, in their original form. We lubricate the seating areas on the top and bottom, in their design. When working on your vehicle's brakes, ensure no grease touches the brake discs or pads. Grease can impair braking performance, leading to unsafe conditions. Apply grease only to necessary parts like caliper pins and keep tools clean. Properly align and secure the caliper to maintain brake integrity. These steps ensure your brakes work safely and effectively. Now we need to clean these guides from dirt and lubricate them because they're already dry. I'll also clean them using gasoline or spirits. In such a shiny condition, they'll work better. Now we generously lubricate the caliper guide, copper grease. There won't be any excess grease. It will stay on the outer part of the rubber. And we screw it back into place.
We don't tighten it right away. We just get it started without centering it. We tighten it with medium force. One is tightened. And now we tighten the second guide. We carefully place the protective caps onto the guide rails, ensuring they are securely fitted to prevent any potential damage. In the sequence of numbers, we have one and two, which are the first two numbers. After that, we put the retaining spring in its place. That's it, we can put the wheel back in place. In order to make it easier to remove the wheel later on, and also to prevent it from oxidizing, I'm going to use the same exact copper grease to carefully and thoroughly coat the seating areas. Here the disc won't get stuck anymore. It will be easier to take it off. Let's check if the brake pad is rubbing. Now let's press the brake a few times. Check. Let's check after braking to see the results and understand the impact of the action taken. There's no friction and the wheel spins easily. After replacing the brake pads, you need to drive very carefully and avoid hard braking for the first 100 kilometers so they can bed in with the disc. After that, everything will settle down and you can drive normally. After that, everything will settle down and you can drive normally. Mm -hmm.